A Nike dunk will release to celebrate the 20th year anniversary of a woman dunking for the first time ever in the WNBA. That's right, Lisa Leslie. But will women actually see these sneakers? I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see. Yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when we were young. I'll take the hit and Everybody, it's your girl TJ back with another video on Talks with TJ. And that's right, Nike announced that they will release a Nike Dunk Low to celebrate the 20th year anniversary of Lisa Leslie being the very first woman ever to dunk. It actually occurred back in 2002 in July, so during a summer game. And now we'll see this story told in a Dunk Low now. In terms of the color blocking and the detailing on it all makes perfect sense in terms of her time with the Los Angeles Sparks, but then also her number nine being present on the sneaker. Um, I won't lie, it takes me back because in the rec league that I played in, the township league for my community growing up, really this is where you played prior to going into high school ball. You, if you played for the uh, in the women's league or the girls league, I should say, then any team you were on, their name was derived from the actual WNBA itself so I played on the Sparks I played for the Shock I played for the Mercury I played for the Sting so I played for all of these teams so I had some type of uh, familiarity but also just connection to uh, I think some of the team names the colors but then also the, these were players that were you know currently on those teams that you just really looked up to and of course you had this dream of possibly going and playing in the league like them and then you reality kind of hit you when you went to college and there are players a lot more talented than you so you 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 work on your strengths of what they are and it may not be in basketball with the pro career but that doesn't mean you still don't support in every way whether it's buying merch or following the careers of these women or uh watching the games or attending the games and there was also bigger news that dropped about the WNBA receiving like real funding for the first time which was amazing nike even took a stake in this so i really hope that means expanded marketing uh accessibility and visibility for the games that would be awesome like i would love personally a world where i'm able to watch even though i know they're on the brink of retirement I would love to watch um, Diana Tarazi play and Sue Bird. I would love the world where I can just as easily flip on TNT or USA or something and watch them as I can Steph or Devin Booker or Clay Thompson or KD. Like I'm able to flip on and watch those, right? So um, I hope this is a major step forward for the game itself. Now, in terms of just sneakers... You know, uh, I'm not an idealistic person. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a dreamer whatsoever. I'm extremely pragmatic. So the pragmatism in me and knowing how this game goes, you know, there are going to be a lot of women disappointed. They never have a realistic chance to get their hands on this dunk low that is dedicated to Lisa Leslie's um, incredible accomplishment in the game. That's the, that's the unfortunate truth. Like it really is. The other thing could be, depending on what is sizing, you could size out people. And I don't mean just sizing out women with smaller feet. I mean, you could also size out some men that want this shoe as well. So I want to be very clear, just because I would love for a lot of women to be able to enjoy wear this shoe and add it to their collection, not only for the importance of what Lisa Leslie was and still is to the league, uh, but just to be able to wear it, like that doesn't take away from the fact I respect men wanting this shoe too, because they're either a fan of the Sparks, they're a fan of the league, or they're a fan of Lisa. So that doesn't take away from the men wanting this shoe as well. I think if we are basing this shoe, however, on what a woman accomplished in the game, it would be awesome to also see women get their hands on this shoe and be able to wear it, put it straight to the straight to toe. Uh, however, you could also have men that are sized out, right? Like what if they only stop this at a 15? You're going to have some men that wear 16s, 17s, 18s, just as you will possible women. I mean, you got women in the league that will be tall and have larger feet. They may be sized out as well. So being sized out doesn't always only exclusively relate to 
you know, smaller sizes. It can also relate to larger sizes. So in a perfect world, they would offer this dunk low three and a half, let's say men's all the way up to like 18 men's with good quality across the board for all of these sizes, reasonable price point dunk lows are going for what a uh, hundred, maybe 110. If, if there's something a little bit more extra, we don't know about a special box would be stellar Nike for this. I'm pretty sure you're not listening, but that would be stellar. And then again, access. So having this accessible in your foot lockers, your champs, your finish lines, Dick Sporting Goods, Hibbit Sports, that would be amazing. Uh, I think there's a great opportunity for them to have a whole capsule around this special moment for the Los Angeles Sparks right now. Like, can you imagine the whole team, NECA and Taya Cooper, and they're debuting a whole apparel line that comes with it? That there is a moment. It's an opportunity. Will it happen? I don't know. And if it doesn't happen, Nike and the WNBA, you've missed out. <laughs> you've missed out right there. I hope that's the case, but it cannot happen. It's right there in your hands. A hat, a hoodie, a shirt, some shorts, pants, a special jersey. There's so much you could do with this. I don't know that you will, but there is something to, you know, you guys could do quite a bit with this. So I really hope that that comes to uh, fruition. I hope it comes to life. If it doesn't, I'm not shocked. I'm just, I'm a little disappointed, but I'm not shocked. I really do feel though, without a doubt at the bare minimum, every player within the league active right now should have a pair of these. They should go to practice one day, look in their lockers and a pair should be present there for them. You have these women that have paved the way for the stars we have today and the legends that are still playing today. I think it's only right that they would each get a pair too. Just my thoughts on the issue and the release. So, and I say issue because I just anticipate it not going as awesome as it could, but you know, if it goes better than what I anticipate, that's amazing. And that's a big step forward for sneaker releases and for women in 2022. So go ahead and sound off your thoughts. First off on the Nike dunk low, uh, in respect and to celebrate Lisa Leslie's dunk in 2002, the WNBA first woman to dunk and absolutely, of course, not the last. And there are, there are girls like dunking in high school, ready to dunk in high school. So we've come a long way. Um, I will say that again, it, it, even though I have thoughts on this, I can't overly stress about it because as I said yesterday in my video, right, you have to find, right. You gotta, you gotta give better Fs. And that means also if you say, you know, and this is in relation to the shoe, but if something or someone, right, you say doesn't really matter, isn't of importance, then you have to act like that. You have to move like that, right? You can't give a whole F about something or someone you say actually doesn't matter. That's not how life works. So we have to work on uh, focusing on what's in our control, giving better Fs and enjoying this Friday. All right. Also last Friday, apparently we established on Twitter, I am the beige Power Ranger. So prior to October, I guess I need to figure out how I'm getting a beige Power Ranger uh, costume and a party to go to. I never go to Halloween parties. I guess now I got to throw this costume on, lace up my Fear of God one oatmeal and head out to a party somewhere. So I guess more to come as we make it to fall. But I thank you guys again so much for tuning in. As always, act your age, not your shoe size. Good luck if you are going for this Nike Dunk Low in celebration of Lisa Leslie whenever it drops. Peace.